Good morning, GRC students. Today we are going to introduce the new scheduling process through Infinite Campus. Each student will be responsible for selecting their own elective and advanced courses, as well as reviewing the courses that your counselor has already loaded into the system for you. You will first need to log into the Clark County homepage. This will be at clarkschools.net. Then you will click on the student slash parents link at the top of the page and then select Campus Portal. You will now be on the Infinite Campus Screen login screen. To log on, you will use your student ID number. This is also your lunch number and can be found at the top of your schedule slash report cards and is also on the back of your student ID badges. Student passwords are your lowercase first and last initial and your six digit birth date. You will not put any slashes or dashes. Once logged in, you will see this screen showing your 2018 slash 2019 schedule. You will need to click on student at the top left hand corner and switch the site to portal. Now your screen should look like this. Next step is you click on course registration 19 through 20 George Rogers Clark High. You'll be brought to the screen where you can see all of the courses that your counselor has already selected for you. These cannot be changed at this time. However, the student can complete a schedule change request form that will be provided during the next advisory meeting. You will need to request your elective courses. Each person may be different on how many they need to choose. Everyone will need to make sure that they have seven classes total, which include the ones that have already been loaded onto the site by your counselor. You also need to select three alternates in case the ones you pick are not available. The first step to selecting the course you would like is to either click on course name and press enter, and this will show you a list of every available course, or if you already know the name of the course, you can type it in under course name like this. When selecting the course you would like, click on it and it will list a description of what the course includes and at the bottom, choose either request it as a course or request it as an alternate. If you have selected a course and you change your mind, don't freak out. You can log back in and choose to select the course name again on the right and choose to drop the request. This is very important. Every student needs to make sure that they have the following graduation requirements. Four English credits, must take one class every year. Four math credits, you must take one every year. Three science credits, which must include earth-space science, biology, and some version of chemistry or physics. Three social studies credits, which must include civics, world history or AP Euro, and US history. One fine arts credit, half a health and half a PE credit, and one practical living credit, which would include any entry level course to a pathway. To view which course you have had before, go back to the left column under your name and select reports. The third option, official transcript, will bring you to which classes you have had before. The Infinite Campus course registration will open for students to begin selecting classes on February 28th at 4 p.m. and will remain open until March 7th at 8 p.m. This will give you plenty of time to ask questions of your counselor or teachers you may have regarding next year's schedule. Once the scheduling window closes, your counselors will be able to view the course you have requested online, so there is no need to print out any requests you may have. If you would like to view this video again, you can locate it on the GRC Counselor webpage, GRC Smoke Signals website and YouTube, and GRC Newspaper Facebook page.